Holy shit! Albion's running this station. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatized goon squad, just take your business across the street. I never thought I would say I miss regular police, but now I miss them. Not to worry, the only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the Spider-Bot will be further in. Mr. Bagley, is this the Spider-Bot we are looking for? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of Spider-Bot from the Tone bombing site. Can you see who was using it? Navigate the Spider-Bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. Oh, Check. Opening right there looks like a good exit point. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. That's a part of the remote detonator system from Parliament. If the Met or Albion rather actually analyzed it, they would see it wasn't dead sex handiwork at all. Dalton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now.
decided they couldn't be trusted to do their jobs. Suddenly some corporation could clean up our streets better than the same police and but who knows how long? When crime fighting is treated like a business, crime will never go away. Now we've had a bit of fight, but don't tell me how it has our best interest at heart, does it? If the police could handle their job, our business would be necessary, but they can't. Home bombing is a perfect example. A bunch of lazy owners can't be able to do it. Well, they're not going to be in any more, are they? You're almost there. Make your way through this last bent path. Got it. Scanning Spybot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Okay, yeah. The Spiderbot fragment you found has a satellite-based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. A secret location? Wow. The police really like having secrets. Let's go find this place, Bagley. Pushing you the ground station's coordinates. Bagley, how can I get in? I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. The GPS history of the spider bot we recovered regularly pings these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. Ah, it's cold and it stinks. Only good thing to do here is take a piece. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. I think we found a super secret police hideout. Well, if Albion was stopping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. What kind of work was this police doing that led to the town bombing? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now. Since Albion's coup, the Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved, and they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. 
The European Processing Center is the Albion Angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Now. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. Albin's bad enough, but working with Clan Kelly is super villain territory. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. And what about the missing people? Shit. We have to end this operation. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. This Albion Clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And if Caitlin Lau's right, then this little nugget jumps to the front of the queue. We have reason to believe a former dead sec operative may still be alive, but missing inside the EPC. Angel Lopez, not London born, but I won't hold that against him, unlike some others. Looks like Angel got caught up in the immigration roundup, which, ironically, may be the only reason he escaped Zero Day's dead sec purge. Anti-immigrant sentiment has grown in London since the bombings. Albion fuels it. It allows them to send anyone they want to their brutal refugee camp. We need to find Angel before they discover he's dead sec. This is kind of personal team. But finding his trail might just shed some light on the Albion Clan Kelly connection. Shit. Well, the good news is in the country. No one's taking deportees from the UK. The bad news is probably in limbo at the EPC. I've sent the details to your device and advised our contact at the EPC. They can get you inside. So, I've delved more into Kaylin Lau's investigation, and an enormous number of missing person cases center around the EPC. The inspector was definitely onto something. Let's find our contact. Albin is not above torturing Angel if they find out he's with Deadsick. Summons. I've already taken care of your entry. Get you in quick and quiet. Nothing official, okay? I need to be off the books. No worries. I'll spoof. But come meet me on the rooftop. The only place here that doesn't smell like piss. Got some info for you. The European Processing Center. It processes deportees by stacking them up in squalid conditions and forgetting about them. But hey, it's to protect London, right? What is this shit? 
This place is worse than our prison camp. Every day I see people come through here, torn from their homes and their families. But I'd rather stay and keep our eye on things. Maybe help out once in a while. Like, no. Fuck. This is nightmare place. The government is okay with the immigrants treated like this? Someone could go missing here and no one would notice in a million years. Yeah, well, people have been disappearing. Records say they have been processed, but it doesn't add up. No one ever properly leaves. And with the Kellys prowling around like fucking hyenas, I am not too optimistic about the people slipping through the cracks. Fuck! Mary Kelly and bad guys have their dirty hands in everything. Truth. Now, about your missing guy. The best place to start would be the EPC database. They keep a record of everyone who comes in. And be careful. Pushing the location of the EPC database on your optic. There will be a database here that we can search for evidence on Angel Lopez. Badly. Tell me you found something. I have. His file has been deleted from the main database, along with hundreds of others. Still very detailed. Even when committing crimes against humanity, the government doesn't skimp on paperwork. Here is a recording labelled Exit Interview. You know what we do with terrorists, Lopez? Ah, uh -uh, don't go pissing me off by denying anything. We know you're with dead sick. I think you were picked up on some random sweep. Not a fucking chance. Nothing to say. Hmm. Well, this is not going to go well for you, then, because I want information. The rest of your cell, where are they? I want names, places, everything you've got. You think I'm daft? I spill everything I know and what? You let me go? I'm not talking. I know how this ends. Oh, I don't think you do. I'm going to throw you to the wolves. The Kellys have an interesting way of disposing with problems. You think I'm scared of some fucking thugs? Of winding up floating in the dams? Fuck you! You're too pretty for that, mate. <laughs> First, they'll peddle you. For Dosh, right? Then, when you're used up, they're going to chop you up and send the pieces to the four corners. I can take whatever you've got. I almost feel sorry for you. Get him to the bloody clinic, then. Shit. They knew he was dead sick the whole time. This doesn't look good for Angel. The clinic keeps government service hours, which means it's closed. We'll have to find Angel the old-fashioned way and hack their CTOS hub. 
Deportation limbo, horrible living conditions, unexplained disappearances. It's almost as if the media are deliberately ignoring the situation here in favour of... Oh, look here, Beatrice Stokely, 89, recently took up kickboxing to fill up her days. Fascinating. If the EPC is a typical example of how humans treat each other, I'd say a benevolent AI overlord is a step up, wouldn't you? Oh, stop the talking, Bugly. Jesus. I have reconstructed an AR scene of Angel's examination. You can view it inside the clinic. Good work. CTOS AR, data reconstruction in progress. Let's make a deal, yeah? I know people outside. Maybe I can help you out. Just let me out of here. Procedures, Mr. Lopez. We'll have you out of here in a minute or two. Fuck, what was that? They implanted him with something. We need to take a closer look. Facial analysis matches for both. They're part of Mary Kelly's little pack. So, Inspector Lau was right after all. Clank Kelly and Albion are in bed together. What a shit orty that would be. Microchips, coated with biocompatible glass to prevent rejection. So they've implanted a microchip in Angel's neck. Hmm, a health monitor? A tracker, maybe? No, these are more sophisticated. If I had to guess, I would say they were designed to deliver a dose of some unknown compound. Not the kind of thing you find at your local corner shop. I could reconstruct the path he took if you want to see how this cliffhanger gets resolved. Stay on his tail. Maybe he got away. Fucker! Get him! Before he triggers! Fuck! He's getting away! Get after him! Shit, they're catching up on him. Come on, Angel. You fuckers! Holy shit. He might make it. She's gonna kill us. No, it's fine. As long as he's not damaged, there'll be no waste. Demand's high with the new network. Guess you're right. Let's tube him, get him in the van, and out to the incinerator. Well, that was unexpected. That microchip wasn't just a tracking device. It looks like they remotely triggered it. I'm not sure what Mary Kelly is up to, but I do think Angel might still be alive. We need to find him. See what they did to him. 
and what that fucking microchip is all about. Seems like advanced technology for Mary Kelly and her band of thugs to be waving around. Could Mary be part of a scary dark web hacker group like, say, oh, I don't know, pick one, Zero Day? Interesting theory, Bagley, but hold your investigation algorithms for the moment, will you? Angel needs us. The incinerator they mentioned is probably the Southwark incinerator. It's practically right around the corner. So this is where they brought Angel. Creepy, even by Clan Kelly standards. Now, now, keep your chin up. We'll find him. There's a camera network that might have caught where they took him. Let's hurry and access that network, shall we? I've gone over the captain footage. I was able to follow Mr. Lopez down to the cellar, but then I ran out of cameras. Not a problem you often have in London. Fairly obvious what to do then. My oh my, Deadbolt Trump's technology. The door is sealed, but this rubbish chute might do. It either leads to the cellar or your grisly death. Or both, I suppose. Well, that's just great. you we 
need to talk. <sighs> Thanks for the distraction. Gave me the second I needed to take care of this filth. You all right? That man was a few seconds away from killing you. He was. I'm fine. I just need a second to catch my breath and find my files. Hold on. You're Police Inspector Caitlin Lau, aren't you? We found your video logs. It was pretty reckless of you to pursue Mary Kelly on your own. It wasn't always on my own. Who the hell are... You're dead sick, aren't you? You tracked me to the slaughterhouse. Actually, we were tracking down a contact that went missing from the EPC. It led us here. We found where all the missing people were, just Christ, the condition to find them, and... Then I'm sorry. I don't think there's much hope for finding him alive. The Kellys have got a sick little operation going. A kind of human organ black market. I've been investigating them for months. And they got my fucking files. Gotta feel like shit. You look it. I'll get a teammate to escort you somewhere you can recover safely. And I'll find Angel and your files. Sounds like we could use them. Everything I've gathered on Mary Kelly. Almost enough to take her down. This sounds like the beginning of a fruitful partnership then. Mary Kelly has just been added to the dead sec to-do list. All right, an operative is on their way to escort Inspector Lau. So let's find Angel and Inspector Lau's files. I'll wait for your guy in here. Um, there's no doubt about it. This whole operation is meant to harvest organs. Clan Kelly's chopping off the parts they want and burning the leftovers. Stealing organs from vulnerable people. Jesus, this is vile. Mary Kelly has to be stopped and soon. They're unrecognizable. Bagley, run a facial reconstruction. Maybe we can still ID them despite the damage. Take a picture and I can run key details past various databases. Unfortunately, I must confirm that this is indeed Angel Lopez. Shit. Angel. He knew the risks. I did too, but... Never thought DedSec would get caught up in this. Mary Kelly is preying on London's most vulnerable. She's a fucking monster. Taking her out needs to be a DedSec priority. Now we need to find Caitlin Lau's case files on Mary Kelly and see if my conjecture may be correct. Could Mary Kelly be in Zero Day? You got the files. The inspector will be impressed. Now get out of here before someone decides to turn you into minced meat. Chop chop. No shit. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Dead sec. Caitlin Lau here. I uh, wanted to thank you. I'd be nothing but an anatomy lesson by now, or a pile of ashes. You'll be happy to know that Inspector Lau has been escorted to a nearby refuge and is getting her wounds treated. I'll be fine. Still a little flighty from whatever they gave me. And frankly, a little stunned that we've joined forces. Ah, oh, fuck. I spent my whole life avoiding the fence, and now I'm working with one of them. What, desperate times, isn't it? Exactly. 
You have an organization. I have information and some backing from powerful people. Pool our resources and we might just take her down. Mary Kelly's no petty criminal. Bagley, call everyone together. We need to go over these files and figure out what the next move is. I'll sync with Inspector Lau and prepare a briefing. heads up the most powerful crime family in London, Clan Kelly, which should at least be easy to remember. Under her old man, they were a bit player. Then he died, and her rivals started disappearing. Her enemies, her friends, her family. They call her Bloody Mary for a reason. Early on, Mary abandoned cash in favor of cryptocurrency and brought the Kelly's criminal business online. It makes weapon smuggling, drug running, money laundering all a lot easier without a cash trail. The woman single-handedly modernized organized crime in London. She considers herself to be untouchable. Case in point, from my files you retrieved. Dala Covington, 19. Sasha Haddad, 28. Radek Stokovic, 24. All disappeared. It's difficult to find good out these days, isn't it, love? Most people, they ain't driven. Not like you. Because they feel worthless, don't they? The way that the world is, how it uses people. It's horrible. It's nice that you have a purpose. Oh, that'll be me, love. We aren't finished here. This... was a courtesy. Oh! Give my regards to their families. It's horrible losing someone you love. Nice meeting you, Caitlin. As you can see, she'll never respond to interrogation. But there is one place she feels comfortable talking. The Sandstone Residence. Inspector Lau thinks a police bug in the Kelly's headquarters may have the evidence she needs to finally convict Bloody Mary. Sandstone is their center of operations. I know the data on that bug will take her down. Get it for me, and I swear I'll put her away forever. Pushing the coordinates to your optics. Sabine here, Inspector Lau. I'm curious how you think you can bring Mary Kelly to justice now, with no backing. Even before Albion took over policing, you couldn't lock her up. And she goes on treating humans like cattle. I had to work within the system. Yes, it was corrupt. I knew it. I just didn't know how bad it was. I thought a strong enough case couldn't... Security here is state of the art, quite impenetrable. Unless, of course, you flew a drone through the window, one of Mary's mouth breathers left open. The recording device is in her security room. Getting there should be a simple matter of navigating the vents. What the fuck? She's using these people as house servants, against their will. Horrible in itself, but a million times worse knowing they end up as unwilling organ donors. Idiot. Do you piss everyone? 
one off the way you're pissing me off, you wanker. <laughs> Stupid git. It. Let's see what kind of recording we've got on her. Just look at this place. This is what comes of old crooked money. The Kelly family has been profiting from people's misery for a long time. She's got this shit all over the manor. So you've been in there before? Is that how you ended up in the basement of the Southwark incinerator? We needed something incriminating, so we decided someone had to get in here and plant a bug. I wasn't going to assign someone else to do that. You saw how Mary uses the people she grabs out of the EPC, and the staff's uniform's not hard to mimic, so I went in. What I didn't know was that she had intel on our investigation, my team. I thought going off book would stop the leaks, but she still knew we were coming. She tortured me for the names of my team. Tried to break me, but cops don't give up cops. Turned out she already knew the whole unit and put hits out on them. The woman is a mind fucker. Could be worse. You could have one of those little bomb chips in you. I would make them kill me first. And I think you would too. That's how I ended up on that butcher's table. So many reasons to want to rid the world of her, but... It wouldn't be enough to just put one in her brain. My mates died trying to bring her to justice. I have to honor that. yourself after everything I've done for you. You made me a slave. All of us. Please, let me go. Take this thing out. Back to your old life. Back to nothing. Back to you. 2.5 screaming blighters in your dead-end job and sucking off the doll. You don't want that, love. This microchip is scary, I know, but I've got to keep tracks on my merchandise, don't I? And this kitchen knife, that won't do it, love. Cutting yourself affects my bottom line. You won't... I can't live like this anymore. No. You are right there. It's all right, sweetheart, because I have another use for you. Paying attention, are we? Good. Be sure and spread the word. You know where this one goes. Get these two and all the others over to their venue and ready for the sale. Right away, ma'am. 
Also, the foreign investors have already landed and the drones are programmed, ready to deliver the invitations and the coordinates to all the guests. Mm, it's that initiative I'm smelling, Peter. Initiative can be a dangerous thing. Can be misinterpreted. This is insane. How did Mary get her hands on this kind of tech? It takes a sick mind to come up with killer microchips. Perhaps a diseased mind, but definitely an ingenious one. Perfect psych profile for a group like Zero Day, wouldn't you say? Her affiliations aren't my priority, Bagley. She's keeping these people enslaved. And it sounds as if she's selling them. This is huge. That's what microchip is for. If they step out of line, she zaps them and sells their organs. Oof, evil woman. DedSec, we'll have to crash that slave auction. Get all the information we can out of there. The location will be on the invitations. She hasn't sent out the invitation yet, but when she does... Bagley, monitor the drone networks. Give us a heads up when Mary sends out her fleet. Until then, I reckon we're in a holding pattern. I'll get in touch if I hear about anything else that might interest you. Cheers, DedSec. Since we're waiting for our cordial invitation to Mary Kelly's tasteless theme party, we can finally get back to what really matters, solving the mystery of Zero Day. Who are they, and why did they frame DedSec for the bombings? Begley, what do we have? Glad you asked. Today, the great AI detective has two leads for his dog's body politic. Obviously, Albion needs looking into, but I also have a more unusual thread for you to pull on. There's a new hacktivist group on the dark web scene called the 404. But instead of being in it for the lulls, this lot seems to be in it for the brutal reshaping of society by any means necessary. Sound like anyone you know? Then I have choices. I've marked both on your optic. This is 404, the first peer-to-peer -peer hacktivist network. All are welcome. If you want to make a difference, join us. We're taking down the elite, one contract at a time. Found that on the dark web. Looks like all the cool kids are forming hacker groups these days. But this 404 might actually come in handy in our fight. If all are welcome, that means we are too. I say we infiltrate 404, we get their connections, we get their assets. If you play nice, they might even help you take out Zero Day. For that matter, maybe they are zero day. Only one way to find out. I found Street View images of a CTOS hub that's been covered in 404 graffiti. They're marking their territory like an overexcited chihuahua. Dropping the location of the hub on your map. Located the CTOS hub. If you are listening to this, it means you want to learn more about 404. Know what we know. Do what we do. Make your way to the Walkie Talkie Club. It's no big secret that the club is a front for Clan Kelly, but the place has other secrets too. More will be revealed there. The hub just dumped a massive load of data into your optic. How forward. By now, you must have reached 20 Fenchurch Street. The Walkie Talkie Club is located at the top of the building. Lift access only. You have arrived at the Walkie Talkie Club, where those with more money than sense come to lose both. The Walkie Talkie Club is frequented by all manner of crooked elites. And the owners, Clan Kelly, have an AI in place to collect blackmail material. Find that AI, and let's see for ourselves what these corrupt scumbags have to hide.
Well, you worked hard and persevered, and now we have nothing. The AI is not actually here, just a relay sending the club's data off-site. I'll find where it's all going, and you find a way out of this loud, obnoxious sweat hole. Deal? Deal. I've done some digging and it looks like the facial recognition AI was created by BrokerTech. BrokerTech? They're one of the biggest software companies on the planet. Always keep their noses clean too. If they're buying blackmail material from the Kellys, that's big news. Everything the AI is collecting here is being sent directly to BrokerTech HQ. We have to go there to get the data. You have arrived at BrokerTech, lead innovators in software and AI technology, founded by its CEO, Sky Larson, when she was just 25. Talk about an overachiever. You know they store reams of blackmail material in there? We have an opportunity to release it all publicly. I believe that's exactly what our 404 friend has in mind. Ah, uh, cool, I'm all over it.
Hof. I have all the blackmail data, and, dear God, people are disgusting. I wonder how this family values politician will appreciate his s &M sessions on public display. Oh well, let's find out. Blackmail data is hereby leaked. Fucking bang on. Nice. We've got crypto. Oh, I like that number. I'd say it's a thankless job, but someone just sent us a video link named thankyou.mp4. So at least it's a one thank job. Let's see it. You have completed your first contract with 404, the dark web's first peer-to-peer -peer activist network. I am in the network. I give the contracts. That's all you need to know about me. I'm nobody. I'm now. I'm also connected to your optic now, so... Let's see who you are. Hold on. <laughs> are you a dead sec? Oh, this is fucking mint, this. Yeah. That's more like it. Fortune's smiling on us today, dead sec. The world is fucked. And we can help each other set things right. I'm at Somerset House, staking out contracts. Come and find me. Let's talk. Leaders. Seems a little desperate, doesn't she? What's her name, Bagley? I've run Nout's name and face through the usual databases and turned up nothing. Oh, Nout. Right, just got that. Does anyone think we should actually meet this woman? Worth the risk, in my opinion. She seems like a real dead sec fan, and I'd certainly rather have her as a friend than an enemy. If she isn't with Zero Day, she might know who is. And if she is with Zero Day, it's probably a trap. Either way, we'll have new information. True say. Let's roll. <laughs> 